today I want to talk about fat fetishism and there are three categories or new terms that I find very interesting. The first term that I'm going to talk about uh, is feedership. Feeder some feed. I hope I hope I'm saying that right. Then there's stuffing and gaining. Okay, let's get started. Feederism is a term widely used to describe sexual relationships with both members to obtain gratification from the gaining of body fat. Feedism refers to the act of feeding, encouraging eating, or being served large quantities of food in order to achieve sexual pre pleasure from the act or from the process of gaining weight, becoming fatter, and modifying the body. Feedership intrigues me because I don't know how someone can be sexually aroused by feeding someone nor do I know how you can get sexually aroused by being fed hey but that's just me I don't like people playing in my food, so I'm not gonna find that sexy. Um, I, I just find it really interesting that this fetish is out there. And then the fact that they have terms for individuals. This fetish even goes on in the gay community. They just have different terms um okay i'm gonna read a little bit in some circles the terms gainer and encourager are viewed as homosexual terms whereas feeder and feedy are viewed as their heterosexual terms um yeah it's just I'm, I'm very, very amused by it, and if any of you guys out there have this fetish, please let me know, like, I want to, I want to know more about it, because I'm very, very intrigued. So, moving on to the next fetish. A gainer is similar to a feed. But gainers generally seek to gain by their own hand, although they may welcome encouragement by an encourager. A maintainer is sympathetic to the gaining community, who has intentionally or unintentionally put on weight and is happy to remain at that size, or is reluctant to gain weight. An appreciator is a fat admirer in the gaining community who is not interested in either gaining or encouraging but is content to appreciate what progress has been made by the other individuals so let me see if I have this gaining thing down pat there's a gainer and the gainer is the person who doesn't mind gaining weight and then the gainer can have an encourager, encourager so let's say I had a boyfriend and he liked me for my size but he wouldn't mind watching me eat to gain more weight so my fetish would be gaining weight so basically what I would be doing is putting on more weight. I've heard of this. Um, 
and then there's a maintainer. I really don't understand the maintainer's role. If you do understand, please let me know. A maintainer is one sympathetic to the gaming community. If you guys know what that means, holla at me. Because I really don't get it. And then there's an appreciator, which is the fat admirer. Now, I want to know, is the fat admirer hush hush? Or does everyone know he's an F.A.? I want to know. How does this gaming thing work? So, let me know. Please. I find this so fascinating that there's people out there that... I want to know what's the purpose of the gaining weight part. Why do you want to be a gainer? Because we already know that it's unhealthy to be this big. I thought we were, wor were working towards fat appreciation, but I don't think that it would work if we're intentionally putting ourselves in high risk of being unhealthy. I... To each his own, but I wouldn't want to be the gainer for the simple fact that I wouldn't want to place myself in the position of becoming more unhealthy than what I am. And then the encourager, the encourager cannot be dumb. He or she has to know that it's unhealthy for your partner to continuously gain weight. I don't think... That that's something you should encourage. But like I said, to each his own. Everybody has their little thing thing that makes them happy. Go ahead, do your thing, girl. Do your thing. On to the next fetish. Stuffing refers to the practice of simply feeding oneself or another person until the belly is bloated and distended. The act of stuffing the belly can be quite sexual, stimulating to the subject. When the stomach swells in size, it presses down on the sexual organs and is, and in some people, this can produce an arousing stimulus. Let me see if I get this right. Being full can be sexually arousing to someone. I've been full to the point where I really can't move. I don't like that feeling. I don't get horny. I don't get hot in my pants. But everybody's different. Presses down your sexual organs. I've never gotten horny from being full. Oh my gosh. God sure knows what he does when he makes everyone different. It's if you ever been full and you've gotten sexually stimulated, comment below. I want to know about this. There should be more videos about this on YouTube. A girl got to learn something. I... J this is very interesting how certain people have certain fetishes like I didn't even know that that fetish was out there this world is full of things that I have no idea that it's full of this is an eye-opener this really 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 is So if you haven't, if, if any of my subscribers or anyone else who runs into this video, if you know about any fetishes that have to do with bigger people or that have to do with stuffing, gaming, any of those things, let me know. I want, I want to know. I'm intrigued. But yeah, please let me know. And uh, you can check out my other fetish video. I'll put the link right here.